Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Question number 26. Which surah doesn't begin with the Bismillah? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah alhamdulillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. The answer was surah at-tawbah. All the other surahs begin with the Bismillah. So here is a hadith where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa divided the Quran into for the surahs of the Quran into four types. He said, U'titu, I have been given Makana Torah in place of the Torah, i.e. the Old Testament Torah, as sabaa al-tiwal, the seven long surahs. And I'll show you where these are in a moment. U'titu, and I have been given Makana zabur in place of the zabur, the Psalms, al-mi'een. The hundreds, literally. وَأُعْتِيتُ وَأُعْتِيتُ مَكَانَ الْإِنْجِيلِ In place of the Injil, Al-Mathani. The often repeated verses. Al-Mathani. Here, Surah Al-Lati, sorry, uh, Surahs. Surah Al-Lati, the Surahs which are آيَاهُ أَقَلِّ مِنْ مِئَةِ They are less than a hundred ayahs. لِأَنَّهَا تُثَنَّ آيَةِ تُكَرَّرْ أَكْثَرْ مِمَّا تُثَنَّ الْأَطِّوَالُ وَالْمِئُونَ They are repeated more than the seven long ones and the uh, the 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 hundred verse ones well for diltu and i have been given special uh, especially have been given bil mufassal with the mufassal surahs wa sumiya bil mufassal and they are called mufassal li kathrat al fasli bayn surati bil bismillah wa qila li qil li qillat al mansukh minhu so because there's lots of bismillahs in between it, because the surahs are much shorter, and or they are mufassal, which can also mean something that is very final, and therefore there's very little abrogation in those surahs. So to visualize this, what I've done is I've created this little grid of the Qur'an, like surahs. So the grid goes, it's ten surahs along, so one to ten. So surah Fatih at the beginning, then Al-Baqarah, then Al-Imran, then Nisa, then Ma'idah, then Al-An'am, then Al-A'raf, then Al-Anfad, then Tawbah, or Al-Bara'a, and then Yunus. And then the next ten, and so on. And on the right, you can see here, it has the Jews, the beginning Jews number. So this is the first Jews, the first row, first Jews, second row, eleventh Jews, seventeenth, then twenty-first. And we even rapidly get to the end. Okay. And you can see there are four colors, there are four basic colors that are being uh, used. So there's a red, these are the red ones, okay? And they are Al-Tiwal, the seven long surahs. But if you count the number of surahs here, there's more than seven. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, Al-Anfal, seven, At-Tawbah, eight. So uh, that just bear that in mind and we'll come to that in a second. Then... After the uh, At-Tiwal are the Mi'un. And the Mi'un are these surahs in the kind of yellow. Okay. They start at Surah Yunus, which is 109 surahs. And then they will go Hud, 123, Yusuf, 111, Ar-Rad, and Ibrahim. These are the exceptions. Arad, Ibrahim, Nur, and Furqan with 43, 52, 60.77 surahs and Hajj 78. But the rest of them are all around the 100 mark. So Al Hajj 99, Al Nahl 128, Al Isra 111, Maryam 98, Taha, and so on. And a Shu'ara is the odd one out. Again, this is a 227. Um, it's way more than 100. And then we have the uh, the next al is 182 And then we come to the verses that, or the surah, sorry, which are shorter. They start at the 49th 
and the Hujurat or al qaf There's some dispute as to exact boundaries where these sections of the Prophet ﷺ is mentioned in this hadith start. But in general, this is uh, there. So these are in the blue. And they can be sub further subdivided into the more shorter, the shortest, which are the last uh, 10, 22 surahs. Then the medium length ones, which are around 29, 22 verses. And the longer length ones, which are longer than around the 50 verse mark. So you can see this 60, Al-Dhariyat, Tawr 49, and Najm 62, etc. So this, the, these, there are 114 surahs in the Qur'an. Okay, 114 surahs in the Qur'an. They all start with Bismillah. So the Bismillah marks the beginning of a surah. But here, as you can see, when we talked about the Al-Diwal, the number of surahs that are included in that traditionally is eight, right? Why? Because there's no Bismillah here between Al-Anfal and Tawbah. So you can count them as one, two, three, four, five, six, and then almost this looks like one surah, right? Seven. So this is one thing, just a historical fact about how the Qur'an was compiled that uh, is that gives us an explanation as to why there's no Bismillah before at tawbah There is another explanation, and let's read it together. <clears throat> and it's to do with the... Uh, Ibn Abbas asks about this question. He asks this question for us. Radiallahu anhuma. He says, uh, Sa'altu Ali bin Abi Talib. I asked Ali bin Abi Talib, radiallahu anhu, may Allah be pleased with him, lima lam tuktab fi bara'a why is there not written in Bara'a, which is another name for Surah at tawbah Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Why isn't there the Bism the Basmala? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qala, so he said, and he replies, Li anna Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim amanun, because to say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim is aman. It means it's if I start a sentence or speech with Basmala, that means I'm giving you safety. Wa Bara'atun nazalat bis saif. Whereas Surah Al-Bara'a or At-Tawbah, it came down, it was revealed with the Saif. In other words, it was revealed with the commands of war that would apply to the Arabian Peninsula towards the end of the Prophet Sallallahu life. So therefore, it could not start with Basmullah. So, it was said that the Arabs, they would um, write letters to each other. <clears throat> and at the beginning of the letter, if they didn't start with the Basmullah, Right, just Bismillah. They didn't say Bismillah Rahman Rahim because they had some dispute about some of the names of Allah. But they would start with the name of Allah, Bismillah. If they wrote Bismillah, that means they wanted peace. And if they didn't write Bismillah, that means they wanted war. So, oh, the war was going to continue. And the Arab tribes were very famous for fighting with each other for long periods of time. So that's one explanation. The other explanation hints at what I've already mentioned that. We can count this almost as one surah. And this is, again, Ibn Abbas is asking for us, أَنَّهُ سُئِلَ عُثْمَانُ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ جَمِيعًا When he asked Uthman رضي الله عنه, may Allah be pleased with all of them, and sabab, and is the reason for قَرْنِ الْأَنْفَالِ بِالتَّوْبَةِ بِدُونِ بَسْمَ Placing Surah Al-Anfal next to Surah Tawbah without dividing them with the Basmala. فَكَانَ مِمَّا قَالْ And one of the things he said was the following. كَانَتِ الْأَنْفَالُ مِنْ أَوَائِلِ مَا نَزَلَ بِالْمَدِينَةِ Surah Anfal, so this is the surah that is occurring before Surah Tawbah, was revealed early on in the, after the process of Hijrah to Medina. وَكَانَتِ بَرَاءَ And Bara'a or Tawbah, the surah that doesn't start with the Bismillah, Min akhir al Qur'ani nuzulan was one of the last of the final surahs revealed of the Qur'an. Wa kanat qissatuha shabihatun bi qissatiha. So the qissa or the story or the main topic or the theme of Surah Al Tawbah, which is about fighting, is very close to the theme of Surah Al Anfal. Fadhanantu annaha minha. So I thought that or I came to the conclusion that they are from each other. وَقُبِذَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ But the Prophet ﷺ died. 
وَلَمْ يُبَيِّنْ لَنَا And he did not make it to us or he did not clarify أَنَّهَا مِنْهَا That Surah At-Tawbah was a segment of Surah Al-Anfal. He didn't say that. So فَمِنْ أَجْلِ ذَلِكْ And because of that قَرَنْتُ بَيْنَهُمَا And I placed them next to each other وَلَمْ أَكْتُبْ بَيْنَهُمَا سَطَرْ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ And I did not write the line بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ So remember Uthman radiallahu an, and this hadith is reported by Ahmed and others and is considered Hassan. Um, Uthman radiallahu an, one of the main things he did was to create the, what they call the codices or uh, al, 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 the, the source Qur'an that everybody else we use today. And that's the Qur'an which has got the Uthmani manuscript. And that's the Qur'an that all of us read uh, today. And he compiled it with the consensus of all the Sahaba and uh, during the time uh, of his Khilafah. And then they burnt all the other Qur'anic copies so that nobody would get confused later on and say that this is uh, part of the Qur'an, this is not. To avoid confusion in the later generations. And he, so Ibn Abbas is asking him, why did you put uh, this surah with this surah but did not divide them with Bismillah? So may Allah increase his knowledge. And uh, make us love the Quran and its sciences and keep increasing us in knowledge about the Quran and both in knowledge and in our actions. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.